Welcome to the deep dive. If you spend any time online, well, you know the feeling, right? That constant stream of ads, trackers lurking everywhere, just general digital noise. It's uh, it's pretty frustrating. It really is. It slows things down. It feels invasive sometimes. Exactly. But thankfully, there are ways to deal with it. And today, we're going to dig into two specific ad blockers that you, our listener, asked about. AdGuard and Wepper. Two popular choices, but very different philosophies behind them. Yeah, definitely. So our mission today is basically to unpack those differences. What makes each one tick so you can figure out which, if either, might be the right fit for your digital life. Sounds good. Let's get into it. Okay, first up, AdGuard. This one, it really seems to position itself as the um, the comprehensive option, like a full bodyguard for your online activity. That's a good way to put it. It's definitely robust. And one of the first things that jumps out is how many platforms it covers. We're talking Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, uh, various browsers, too. It seems to aim for, like, total coverage. It does. Yeah. And that broad compatibility is a big plus for many people. But what's really compelling, I think, is that it goes way beyond just blocking standard ads. Right. You mentioned some advanced stuff. Yeah, like uh, DNS filtering, which basically blocks unwanted connections right at the source at the Internet's address book level. So it can stop some sophisticated trackers or even malware before they even get close to your device. Okay, that sounds pretty powerful, more than just hiding annoying banners. Definitely. <laughs> it's a deeper layer of protection. Plus, it often bundles in actual malware protection features and, interestingly, parental controls as well. So it gives you this um, extensive control. You can really fine-tune what gets through. Extensive control. And what about paying for all that? Is it uh, expensive? Well, they have flexible options. There are free versions, which are pretty good, but the paid plans unlock all those advanced features. And they do offer a lifetime subscription option, which, you know, can be appealing if you know you'll use it long term. Hmm. Okay. So lots of power, lots of features, works everywhere. But could that be too much for someone who just wants, like, simple ad blocking? That's a very fair question. Yes, yeah. absolutely. All that customization, while powerful, might feel a bit overwhelming if you're just looking for something simple you don't have to think about. It definitely caters more to the user who wants that granular control. Gotcha. Which leads us nicely into the second option, wiper. This sounds like, well, almost the complete opposite in terms of philosophy. It kind of is, yeah. You described it as minimalist, right? And specifically for Apple users. Exactly. Wiper is designed purely for the Apple ecosystem. So Mac OS and iOS integrating directly and uh, very smoothly with Safari. So no Android, no Windows version. Nope. It's laser focused on Apple. And its whole selling point is efficiency and simplicity. It blocks ads, trackers, and even those uh, cryptocurrency miners you sometimes hear about. Oh, yeah. The things that secretly use your computer's power. Right. Those hidden scripts. Wiper blocks them effectively. Yeah. And the key thing is it requires minimal user intervention. Like you install it. Maybe check a box in Safari settings, and that's pretty much it. It just works in the background. The classic set it and forget it approach. Precisely. It's very popular with Apple users who value that kind of seamless experience. No complicated settings menus, no constant tweaking needed. And the cost reflects that simplicity, I imagine. It does. It's a one-time purchase, currently $4.99. So very cost-effective compared to ongoing subscriptions. Okay, so wiper.simple, efficient, Apple-only, cheap. Sounds great for that specific user. Are there any catches, any downsides to that simplicity? Well, the main catch is just that exclusivity. If you use Chrome on your Mac sometimes, or if you have a Windows PC or an Android phone alongside your iPhone, Wepper obviously won't help you there. It's purely for Safari on Apple devices. Yeah. You trade universality for focused efficiency. Right. Makes sense. So we've got AdGuard, the feature-packed, multi-platform powerhouse offering deep control and then Weeper, the lean, mean, Apple-focused machine prioritizing simplicity. That's the core difference, yeah. So for you, the listener, it really boils down to your own situation, doesn't it? If you're juggling a Windows TC, an Android phone, maybe an iPad, AdGuard's wide reach and control might be exactly what you need. Absolutely. But if your entire digital world revolves around your MacBook and your iPhone, and you just want something effective that stays out of your way... Then Weeper starts to look really appealing, right? That seamless integration could be key. Exactly. You need to think about your digital habits. What devices do you actually use? How much control do you really want or need? Are you someone who likes tinkering with settings, or do you prefer things to just, well, work? Control versus convenience, essentially. That's a big part of it, yes. Yeah. And platform needs. So, yeah, ultimately, there's no single 
best answer here. The right choice, as always, depends entirely on your specific needs, your devices, and maybe even your uh, personal tech philosophy. <laughs> well said. And maybe here's a final thought to chew on after this deep dive. How do our choices in these seemingly small digital tools, like an ad blocker, reflect our bigger preferences? You know, control versus convenience. Or wanting a specialized tool versus something that tries to do everything everywhere. It's kind of interesting how those patterns show up in our digital lives. Something to consider. <laughs>